My name is Joe Rand and I work for the Kidwind Project. So Kidwind does renewable energy education. Um, we're kind of focusing on K through 12 education. We write curriculum, um, so we've got a lot of lesson plans on wind power. We've developed kits, hands-on materials, so you can probably see some wind turbine kits behind me. Um, and those are kind of some hands-on materials we've developed so students can explore variables in wind turbines and get kind of a real taste for the science behind wind power. Humans have been using wind power for thousands of years. You look back, maybe we weren't using wind turbines to make electricity, but how did we move our sailboats? So we've been harnessing the wind for a long, long time. After that, we started developing some windmills that we figured out, hey, the wind can do work for us. So we, we made up these windmills that could grind grain for us. Um, you know, out here, we're kind of in rural America right now, and look around us, you'll see water pumping windmills everywhere. So again, you know, the, the concept of producing electricity from wind turbines, even that's been around since 1888 when the first electricity turbine was made. We actually go all over the country and train teachers in wind power. Uh, so we'll have like a full day with maybe 30 teachers in the room. Uh, you know, give them a little bit of lecture on wind power and how it works. And then most of the day we spend doing hands-on activities again. So the sort of thing they'd bring into their classroom. So they get some expertise with this stuff and uh, bring it back to their classroom. We give them kits and then sometimes take a tour of a wind farm or a, or a local manufacturing plant or something. So kind of get them connected with industry partners in their community and uh, just trying to Again, approach kind of younger students with wind power because they're going to be the workforce in 10, 15, 20 years that we need.